Thanks. Congratulations on a wonderful film. I know I'm going to start with you. Um, you've got a smart script you wrote. You've assembled a great cast. But were they still able to surprise you or perhaps move you in ways that you might not have expected? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I mean, that's why you, 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 know, you, you, you get these guys so they can just make it better and better. Um, uh, they, I, you know, it was a really uh, kind of the, the best thing for a director, which is when you have actors who sort of, the, when they come out of the gate, the first take is just already right there. And then, you know, you're not trying to get the scene in any kind of way, or you're just, you can actually like press down on, you know, in, on different things and push things and try things. And it gives you, you know, incredible, uh, you know, latitude. And also in, in the cutting room, you have all these, you know, different options. Um, so yeah, it was really ideal. Thank you. Adam, we know you've got dramatic chops, but um, was, this, was this something that you took on because it was a challenge or because it was out of your wheelhouse, or did you feel it was a natural progression at this stage of your life and career? It was just, just luck that this guy wrote an amazing movie and handed it to me and said, would you like to be in it? That was the best part of it. I, I I read it and knew it was a great movie and it was a, um, just didn't want to let Noah down and and worked hard and that, that's it. Thank you, yeah, thank Dustin. You. On paper, Harold is Mr. Mr. Self-absorbed patriarch is could be very unlikable, but you do seem to have found an understanding for him that that we 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 get. How did you get a handle on him? Do you know guys like that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, when Noah and I started talking together, because uh, it's important Noah agrees that we find a way to rehearse, because films uh, don't rehearse uh, in, the, in the conventional way. Who's ever paying for the film does not want to hire DPs and crew and everything if they're not shooting because those people think you're not making a movie unless you're shooting, but you're also making a movie when you're just talking. And we did a lot of talk. Did you talk a lot? I did. I listened to also. We all talked a lot. Yeah. yeah. For, for months, you know, Noah would come up and we would talk, and we found a lot of similarities uh, in our family. Uh, and it's, uh, there's, there's, I think, a, a current that runs through this film which is, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of diabolical if you're a son, and that is uh, that there are fathers who don't say it, but do not want their sons to exceed them. Mm -hmm. And we somehow get that information uh, at a young age, and we, it's a partnership. And uh, that's a very uh, it, it, a big example is with, uh, you know, with his character. Uh, and I think that's, a, that's a, a road we were trying to, you know, get into. Thank you. Okay, let's open it up. Where is Mr. James with the microphone, please? Do you want to come to the center? Okay, I see Carly Newman. Wait until you get the mic. Thank you. And don't be shy, people. Introduce yourselves. I'm Carly Newman from Close Up Film. Um, it's a lovely film, really well directed and beautifully acted, but the title is not terribly attractive. It's also very long if you have to do a shorter review. Who, <laughs> who chose the title and why? <laughs> That's the best question we've got. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was very good. The original was Yentl too. But we, right? Yeah, yeah, we couldn't. Uh, <laughs> that's still tangled up in a lawsuit. <laughs> um, um, uh, you don't like the Meyerowitz stories, new and selected? No? Hey, good. <laughs> yeah, we started off on a bad note, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live with uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I did a, a, a play of Arthur Miller's. Uh, called Death of a Salesman, which is, you know, kind of a classic. And 
we had more than one conversation where he could not get anyone to produce that play because every producer said, we'll do it, but you have to change the title. No one it wants to go see a play called Death of a Salesman. We want to discover that, you know, that he dies. And Arthur said they didn't understand, and that was, I want them going in knowing they're going to watch someone dying. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he has his own. Or I think that it, it's, you're always trying to do something uh, fresh to hold an audience's attention. And I think it's all through uh, Noah's work. You know, this is family. Yet, you know, mm -hmm. that's all we see, you know, or used to see, you know, the, in the golden age of, you know, movies. Family, family, family. How can you tell it in a new perspective? How can you hold an audience? I think that's just in you, you know. Thank you. We have a lady here. Hello, I'm Lindsay from A Different Kind of Woman. Hi. Um, how believable um, did you find the characters? Were they based on your own life? And how relatable did you find them to play? The family, the relationships in the family. I thought you were going to say, I hate the movie, but I love the title. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Let me just jump in. My father passed away a long time ago. My mother passed away a long time ago. Noah's family is alive, and I think it's natural for him to be somewhat judicious in terms of answering questions like <laughs> yours. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, all my movies are personal, you know, and there's, but there's, a, there's a distinction between personal and autobiographical. Um, you know, I made a movie, The Squid and the Whale, which was uh, people right out of the gate assumed was, you know, my story or something. And, and I did use sort of a lot of elements from my life in that movie, but it was a total fiction at the same time. And, and you know, so the, the, the uh, you know, but I, I, I think the same, the same is true here. I mean, these are, you know, it's taken from all over. I mean, I'll steal or or borrow from from wh wh whatever works for the story, you know, and and and, and uh, you know, I made a movie Francis Ha, which you know was about a 27 year old woman sort of figuring out her life, and that felt equally personal to me as as the Squid and the Whale did, or this movie did. There, can we get the mic to the chap on the aisle in the fourth row? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, I am Alessandro De Simone from uh, Italy, from Gioia. Uh, and uh, I have a question from Mr. Sandler. You've been one of the first uh, uh, great stars that embraced the Netflix new way of uh, producing uh, movies. And uh, I want to know uh, why did you decide to have this close relationship with, uh, with Netflix? And how is working with them? They've been great to me, and they've been uh, just uh, allowed me to be uh, free creatively, and it was just I'm really close with uh, Ted Sarandos and the and the whole team. It's an exciting place to be right now for me. They just you uh, the enthusiasm is is gigantic, and they and they love they love what they're doing and they love getting the movies out there and they're very uh, ne never seen a, a anybody more excited th about a movie than this movie they love the Meyerowitz stories and they're just excited to get uh, people to see it and um, and there there you go been very nice thank you we got yes can we get it right across the aisle lovely thank you <clears throat> hi Philip Detlefs of DPA German Press Agency um, following that so uh, would you say that working with Netflix gives you more creative freedom and more possibilities to uh, actually uh, produce projects than you would have with the traditional studio system in Hollywood? Uh, they've been great to me. I don't know that, uh, you know, there's other ways to do it, but this is the way I, I, I'm, I'm doing my relationship with them has been great. Is there a question back here? <clears throat> 
Hi guys, uh, congratulations on the film, uh, Russ Nelson, Red Carpet News. Uh, my question is to Adam and Dustin. Obviously, you've had the pleasure of working together before, and I, I think it would be really nice to hear from both of you the qualities in each other that you most admire as performers, because we love seeing you together. Thank you. Thank you. I love uh, Dustin's incredibly uh, uh, encouraging, and uh, he concentrates on his own work, of course, but he's all about the entire movie and about everybody's performance and was is is uh, as thorough with uh, his other actor as he is with himself I think I mean it's it's, it's just a great person to be looking at during a scene and f feel like you wants your partner wants you to do your best best you can do Dustin also I'd say just <clears throat> even though you didn't ask me <laughs> uh, uh, is uh, is so, I mean, you know, he's so thorough and, and asks so many questions and, and ex sort of just so open f to exploration with his own character, but right. he also is that way, as Adam's saying, about everything and, and will even point out things about the script. You know, he, he's just, a, he sees the movie and he's a great storyteller. So mm -hmm. he would say like, you know, maybe will people understand this, if this, and this, and this, and there were scenes he wasn't in. It was just about you know, it, making the best movie possible. It's, I mean, he's, he's, uh, um, you, you know, he'd be a great dramaturg if, <laughs> um, uh, if What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody on a play. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dustin, do you have thoughts on Adam? Oh, yeah. yeah and then I'll say something nice about Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you go first. Yeah. I have to. I have to plumb my memory and see if I can come up with one. <laughs> well, I'll say about Adam is, is I, you know, you know, we, we, as we were saying, we we all prepared a lot and talked a lot, but, and you know, as a director, you, you know, you, you, you know, in a lot, in, in many ways, you see, you know, you you. You're, part of your job is to, you know, see the actor and see what they're doing and help guide them, and but with. With the best actors, you know, there's this this other thing going on that is out of your control in the best possible way, because they're they're drawing something from inside them that's a mystery, and it might even be a mystery to them in some way too. But they're, you know, but Adam connected to something very deeply in this guy, um, you know, it's something we haven't even talked about that much. But I would marvel, uh, you know, throughout the shoot at at just how true and unacted it seemed. It just, it was a, it was a, it was behavior and it was, and it was deep. And that was, you know, you know, it was, it was very moving to me. Thank you. Um, More? Or should I keep going? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll wait till you finish. I also liked when you punched out Bob Barker in, uh, <laughs> in, uh, in Happy Gilmore. He had it coming to um, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He started it. Okay. <laughs> um, take two. Um, uh, oh, you talk yeah. about you were just saying about how it was him if you were a failure. You know, you have that. Kind yes, of that's what I was okay, going good. to do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when I when we started the film, uh, and I was uh, you know d doing stuff with Adam, uh, and also there were things he was doing with other people, but I happened to be on the set and I, I observed it. Uh, s s uh, Noah uses the word deep. And I think what that means is, I don't, this is my personal feeling, I don't think actors should play parts unless they're in it. Otherwise it looks like they're performing a part. Oh, well, so-and-so is an asshole, but I'm not an asshole, so I'll just perform an asshole. I'll just get a few people in my head that I know real people that are assholes, and I'll just do that. <laughs> I think we have the asshole in us, all of us. And, uh, we have, and it's up to us to enlarge on that. And I thought what Adam was doing, because I couldn't put in, it into words, I agree with Noah that it was, there was something about him uh, that I had not seen before, and I know him, and I'd done another another film with him. And I went home, and I said to my wife, I said, I think Adam has hit 
a part of himself in which he would be the, in, he would be the person if, that, he, that didn't make it. And that's, you know, that's as, as close you, as you can get uh, to the bone. And I thought that's what Adam was doing. That's uh, to hit that, because we can, we all can. You know. right. Beautifully said. Is that, was that a hand? Yes. Can we get the mic to this? Thank you. And Dusty, likewise, you were just an asshole. You, were, <laughs> you, you weren't playing one. Well, that's what's wonderful about being an asshole is that there's so many ver varieties that you can do. <laughs> Go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Marvin. I'm from the Philippines. Hello. And I run a social media channel called Post It Showbiz. Congratulations. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, my first, uh, it's my first time to be on a festival, and it's my honor to be here in the London Film Festival. My question is something to do with social media because I manage a social media channel. And uh, there's one generic question that I'm asking everyone that, I'm, that I had the opportunity to, to interview or attend a press con on. And forgive me for my question. So my question requires you to answer either a take it or a leave it. I should be handing on the props to you, but it's too far and I'm too shy. So the question is, I'm a film student has been bashing your film on social media as a mere trash. Are you gonna take it or leave it? Is this is this hypothetical or is yes. they actually? Okay. Yes. Because yeah. nobody would really. Well, do on that. social uh, media, sir, um, it can be very. Who is this? Who is this? Yeah, made up person. We, we we have to either take it or leave it. You can't just, just so just, so we just <laughs> you can't just be. Yeah, I um, think you gotta. I think you just gotta leave it. You take. I think you take it and leave it. Yeah, and you take it. You get annoyed at yourself. And so then you decide to leave it. You know what? Let me just leave it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I took it, and it felt it felt right. <laughs> and I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. But if you'd like to take some photographs, now's the time. Mm. Gentlemen, thank you so much <laughs> for your time yeah, and for your insights. Sure. Thank you. And just, here we go with the pickies, leave. and I'll get out of the way. Uh, I didn't get the question. I don't understand what you guys were talking about. We had well, to well, yeah. yeah, just take it. Away. You left. Yeah, yeah. You left it. Yeah. We took it for you. Yeah. You left it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. you can focus on Dustin. Come in tight. Noah, did, Adam, Dustin, who, who thank you all so like much. Thank you. Who thought the movie was rubbish? <laughs> Speak up. <laughs> Speak up. Nice to meet you. Well, um, during the Q&A, it's nice yeah, to be able to have more of a conversation. Yeah, I am. Coming out continually. What do you do if you're a tea drinker? Do you put it down and wait 10 minutes till the smoke clears? Blow on, blow what? Blow on. Blow on. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't work if you're full of hot air. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!